Good afternoon. So today I am very excited to be tackling my wardrobe because that has been a little bit neglected since I moved into the new place. I kind of just had to throw everything in there and the other week I finally got around to like reorganizing everything back into my kind of colored order that I have but I also sort of needed to get some shoe storage because there is just nowhere in here to put my shoes. So I purchased a couple of shoe racks from Kmart which actually just arrived from the postman about five minutes ago so very excited for that and I'm going to put them together and finally be able to get all my shoes out of the pile on the floor but the other area that I really wanted to organize is like the top of the wardrobe where there is the spare shelf because I just have things that are kind of all sitting there and they might be like documents or books or just like odds and ends and miscellaneous things but I also had the idea to do a little bit of a seasonal wardrobe swap so if there are any kind of heavy bulky items that are most definitely just made for winter then I wanted to be able to have like a storage crate or something that I can pop them into because it is definitely warming up now we are in the spring weather and soon enough in a couple of weeks we will be heading into summer so there's no point me kind of having those items taking up heaps of room in my wardrobe and I've literally just never thought to do that before but I have some of you have recommended that to me in the past with my wardrobe organizations and I have also seen it in some other people's videos as well so I thought that would be a very cool clever idea which is why I grabbed my tape measure earlier and I measured up the area in terms of the height and width of the shelf and then I had a look online at some storage crates so there is a big W local to me and I just headed down there before had a little look through the store and I ended up buying three little crates they are I think 35 liters and it was just from their brilliant basics range so I've got a little haul of things to show you from that as well which I'll be using to do that organization so let's go and have a look at all of those different pieces I grabbed and then we can get straight into it so just a super quick reminder as well if you're new here I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and let's get into it Okay, time for a little bit of a homewares haul so I can show you those items I was just talking about. So first one is the shoe rack from Kmart. So I ended up getting two of these because they are stackable and like most women, I have a lot of shoes. I don't need them all, but I definitely have collected many over the years. So I am probably due for a shoe declutter. But in the meantime, this is the one that I got. It is the three tier bamboo and white kind of colored shoe rack. And I did double check the dimensions for this as well because there is a lower hanging rail in the wardrobe so definitely always measure your space before what's the saying like measure twice cut once like always measure your space before buying things because otherwise it just avoids the disappointment or having to waste time going back to the store and returning things or not returning them because I know that's kind of annoying to do as well so this is 54 centimeters high by 70 centimeters wide and 26 centimeters deep so the depth was the critical dimension for me in terms of like not clashing with that mid hanging rail that runs through the middle of the wardrobe but this should be absolutely perfect and it looks like I'll be able to fit tons of pairs of shoes on there so I'm going to build those in a minute but I also did have my items in this other box that I got from Big W so these are just the container lids so it came with these solid white kind of color container lids and these are the three containers so that you can get a little bit of an idea of the size. They're not enormous. They're about, well, they probably say the size on here, actually. Let me read it out for you. It is 35 liters and they are 47 centimeters long by 39 wide by 30 high. So the shelf in the top of the wardrobe here is actually quite small compared to wardrobes that I've had before. I think there must be like some ducting or something running out. So there's not a super high ceiling height over that particular space, but that's what made these perfect because I think it's 35 centimeters. So these are 30 and will fit there perfectly. So got three of those because they seemed reasonable quality and they were $13 each. And then as always, when you pop into these kind of stores I picked up a few random other items for things around the home so I may as well show you those while I'm here but one thing was this little 12 click clip peg hanger and this was so cheap it was literally like two dollars so I thought that would be really handy either to hang on my clothes horse or on um the laundry storage rack thing that I've got. So I'll open it up and show you what it's like, but this could be really good for like hanging up underwear or something. If you just really needed to do a quick rinse of a few things and dry them or just a couple of items that you wanted to hang out. So it's just this circular little hanger with the 12 clips hanging off it. And I think it was $2. So very 
very, very handy. And I think I'll probably end up getting quite a lot of use out of that. I also wanted to get a citronella candle for the balcony because yet again, the warm season is coming up and I've just purchased like a sort of like bench seat storage crate thing to go out there to pop like all of my gym gear in and any other bits and pieces but will also like double up as a seat for when I'm having people over but I definitely wanted this because living in Australia if you do live here then you would know that mosquitoes are absolutely insane I don't know what it's like if I always forget to ask what part of the world some of you are from so maybe leave it in the comments down below because I notice in my statistics I have quite a few people from America as well and I haven't honestly spent enough time over there to know if you get the same crazy bugs in your season but this was just a little white citronella candle from the gardening section and it was six dollars and it's in this cute little vintage jar so that'll be perfect to pop out on my balcony I also thought that I might try having a little bit of a green thumb because this apartment is like east facing so it gets really beautiful morning sunlight and then none of that super hot crispy afternoon sun when you're in like a west facing place so I ended up getting this little grow your own parsley kit as well and this was ten dollars so I know you can definitely get herbs and things probably cheaper at Bunnings but I wanted something that wasn't established yet so that I can kind of grow it in the conditions that we've got out here because I know sometimes when you purchase plants and bring them home they seem to get a bit shocked and it's different environment than the nursery that they were used to and different like watering schedule and things so sometimes they can die but I thought that would be kind of cute so I got that and then I also got this and I'm not sure if I'll keep it for myself or give it away as a gift but I actually think this would be such a great little Christmas gifting idea if you had someone in your life that would love this but it is a peppermint grow and brew tea kit so it contains tea mug, strainer, peppermint seeds, peat pot, soil pellets and the growing instructions and this is what it looks like it was literally $15 at Big W and I just thought that was really really cute as well so yet again unintentional purchase but worth it and the last thing that I grabbed was an over the door hook so this is called the frosted white over the door hook and that is kind of what it looks like I don't know if you can see that super clearly but it's just got these little timber knobs on it and that will hang over a door so that I can hang up I might put that in my bathroom actually so I can put a spare towel and my bathrobe hanging over the back of the bathroom door so that was ten dollars so that's everything that I've got now I need to probably pop those shoe racks together and then we can start organizing the wardrobe so I'm just gonna pop in here quickly because I am actually going to sneakily add four new items to my wardrobe and that is from a gorgeous brand called Mo & Co. So they have been kind enough to gift me these items from one of their beautiful new collections. And honestly, if I had to describe it in a couple of words, I would say elegant and versatile. These pieces are literally so interesting. They just have really great details that are like little adjustable scarves and things you can like add on and take off. This one is a little capelet which I'm going to show you that goes over the top of a dress but you could easily kind of chop and change a lot of these pieces with items that are existing in your wardrobe as well so that's what I absolutely loved about them because I'm definitely trying to slow down on my personal consuming of fashion and therefore kind of just adding real staple items to my wardrobe and applying a bit of a one in one out kind of policy so I really think you're going to absolutely love the pieces that I've got from this collection so I'm going to show you through them and super quickly as well all of my sizes and the links and details for everything from Mo & Co will be in the description box down below and I also do have a discount code with them which will be there as well and that will get you 10% off your order. First up we've got these pants with their signature label here on the waist and this is an elasticized waistband so it is incredibly comfortable. There's pockets in them as well which I absolutely love and I just styled them with a little bandeau crop because I feel like they are a little bit streetwear sort of feeling so that is sort of how they fit on but having that elastic waist not only makes them extremely comfortable but they're just a really simple pull-on style of pants so these are full length and they're in a little bit of a suit kind of material with this beautiful detail of the seam down the front here and I absolutely love these I'm just gonna get so much wear out of them they are so incredibly comfortable and just very very flattering on next item is this oversized blazer it's the perfect boyfriend style blazer it's just got two buttons on the front here which 
You could join up if you wanted to wear it like that, but I always kind of prefer these open. So I left the pants on from before because I think this would make a really cool outfit. But this one also did come with a little scarf. So let me show you what that looks like on as well. This is the logo Mo & Co little scarf and I absolutely love the monochrome kind of tones of this. I just think this is such a cool addition to the outfit. It easily just slips on and off so you could style this in so many different ways if you wanted to tie it up or have it with some other outfits that weren't the blazer but I just think that is such a cool kind of look to be able to just add this on. So I'll show you the print up close but this is what it looks like and I just think that is so beautiful. Really, really soft and lovely fabric as well and just completes that kind of look with a blazer where it is just a bit more of a structured lapel line. You can kind of make it a little bit more feminine by adding in this scarf detail and softening the entire look. The next piece I have is this stunning dress. So up the top here is a beautiful soft knit. It's really nice and stretchy. And then it flows into a gorgeous satiny silky kind of bottom that is really bias cut. So I'll show you the bottom. So this is the beautiful sort of floaty bias cut. It does have a little slit up the side of it as well. And it just sits in such a flattering way on the body. The knit up the top makes it really comfortable and sleek. And then the bottom skirt is just gorgeous and floaty for that perfect sort of trans seasonal piece. I could definitely see myself getting so much wear out of this as the weather warms up because it's a beautiful piece that can be classy enough to be worn to the office, but also stylish enough to wear out in the evening as well. Last but not least, I have to show you the little capelet that kind of goes over the top of this beautiful knit dress. So these are a bit of a set, but you could absolutely wear them separately. And I genuinely have worn this capelet over so many other dresses that I have in my wardrobe because I just think it's such a cute piece. So it's kind of like a knit material and it easily just slips on and it's got these little kind of slits in the sleeve. So they're like a very slight bell sleeve sort of, sort of shape, which I think is incredibly flattering. And it has this little connector here at the front to join it together. So let me come and show you this beautiful little buckle detail on the front of this capelet. And I just love how it kind of leaves the straps out as well. So it's kind of got this beautiful cut across the shoulders. And this is just the perfect kind of layering piece for those colder days. Or if you were to kind of wear this out after work, that's everything that I picked up from Mo & Co. If you want to grab any of those pieces, it will all be in the description box down below. Just quickly, before I open up those boxes, I have to show you something. My mum works at Bunnings and she's a very clever, crafty woman, which is definitely where I inherited that side of me from. And she sent me this little thing in the mail. It's called a Clever Cutter. And I think they're online for around about $10. I don't know if you can see that the little blade is in there and it's from the brand Diplomat. So this can be used. You just kind of pop it into the box and slice it along because she's seen my videos and I'm always using a knife and you guys have probably seen that as well. So mum wanted to get me a proper box opener. So I stopped doing that and it works really well. I saw you from across the room Met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. Just finished building the first one that was incredibly easy it's literally just six screws on either side using an allen key you don't even need a screwdriver it all came in the kit and that is pretty much what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and build the second one now and then i can pop them into the wardrobe i do want to show you my nail color at the moment as well i matched it to my favorite charlotte tilbury lipstick which i'm currently wearing and it's kind of like a terracotta sort of pink like just something really different 
different because I normally go really pale sort of light colors but I thought this was really beautiful for a change so if you need any nail inspo I think this is quite a nice color for spring I've just finished building both of those little shoe racks now so time to go and pop them in the wardrobe so we can organize all of my shoes this is the current chaotic section of the bottom of the wardrobe. I wasn't lying when I said I literally just shoved my shoes in there because I had absolutely no time to organize any of this stuff. So it is the first thing that I'm so, so excited to grab all of those out and pop in those shoe racks because it has been driving me crazy. That is what I've got now, a nice empty wardrobe space to go ahead and pop that little shoe rack in. The next part of my wardrobe that needs organizing is all of that top section and that is what I bought the crates for because aside from this one which is my light for if I'm ever filming at night time I'm going to keep that box but then one two three crates should fit in that side section over there so it'll just help me declutter whatever's sitting in those baskets because they just really haven't been working for me so I'm going to take those out now and then we can fill up those crates. So I've just grabbed these two baskets down and tried to have a look at what is in them so this one is actually all of my old course material from when I did my architectural registration and there's a couple of CDs and things in the bottom here so all of that will definitely stack neatly into a crate and this one just seems to be a whole bunch of shoes I've got a belt there and then there's some of Jazz's shoes my shoes just random stuff left over in here so I can definitely probably condense both of those into a crate and save a lot more space Space. I've just emptied both of those baskets and I threw away a couple of things so they didn't even end up filling up one crate which just goes to show why it is so important to constantly declutter your house because these were taking up so much room and there was stuff in there that I either didn't want or could literally be condensed to half a crate full. I thought I was going to need all three of these but I actually think I only need two because this little cube here is the last lot of stuff that was up in the top of the wardrobe there so I think that is just a bunch of documents that are kind of like you know those things that you just can't throw away whether they're like tax related or just like life insurancey type stuff so I think I will also pop them into a crate and then we will be all done. I've just put those two crates up in the top part of the wardrobe and I quite literally have one completely empty crate left which is absolutely perfect because like I said that is going to be for my seasonal clothing swap over. I'm going to leave this crate empty for now because I will probably do another video where I'm actually decluttering through my clothing and that way I can get rid of some things and pack away all of the winter items but I'm not quite ready yet as it is still coat weather here in Melbourne believe it or not. I need to go and have a huge drink of water now. That was actually such a big job and I'm really, really happy that I got all of those things done today. I kind of really want to go and get a pedicure to match the color of these nails because I've got a friend's wedding this weekend and I might be wearing some like black open toe shoes. So I think it would look nicer if I kind of had matchy matchy. So I think I'll head off now and go on down to the post office. I've got a couple of things to pick up because some of the seasonal PR is coming in and I'm incredibly excited excited for really cute festive stuff that we're going to be doing over the holiday season like making gingerbread houses and all of that and I know it's way too early to be talking about it but I feel like when I've been in the shops there has been Christmas decorations and things going on so it's really getting me in the mood. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for spending the afternoon with me and getting my wardrobe all nice and organized. I hope this has given you a little bit of inspiration for some storage ideas for your spaces and I will see you in the next video. Bye.